Hello. Are you here to find out how to keep your OneNote notebooks in SharePoint? You have chosen the right video. Today, we are going to tell you how to share a OneNote notebook into a SharePoint site. I'm Alex Yosef from Doc365. OneNote will help you to keep all your notes organized. The collaboration support makes the platform even better. Multiple users can collaborate on a single document from a user-friendly interface and also multi-user functionality. Let us now see the steps to share OneNote notebook on a SharePoint site. For that, first you will have to choose the OneNote app in your desktop. I think the OneNote version I'm using is the OneNote for Windows 10. Uh, it will also work in OneNote 2016 as the options are almost similar. Once the app OneNote app is open, you can click on the files in the left top corner and choose new. Go to the site, SharePoint sites here and click on browse. Today, I'm going to save one of my OneNote notebook into the marketing, the document library in one of my SharePoint sites called marketing. So for that, I'm just uh, copying the URL here in order to define the preferred location easily. So I'm just pasting the URL and click enter. So the location will be automatically populated. So once the desired site documents is populated, click on documents so that it will take you to the document library. Choose the folder, document folder you prefer and choose the decide folder to which you want to save the OneNote notebook. I have already created a folder in this document library earlier to save this uh, file, new notebook. So choose the folder and choose create. Oh, so you have to give a name to this uh, notebook first. So I am just giving it a name marketing document for now and then click on save. So once you create a document and save it, uh, there will be an automatic uh, option will be prompted to invite people into this. So you can click on invite people to directly invite people from this window, or if you want to share it after you update this file completely, you can click on not now. So I'm just choosing the invite people option. So it will take you to this particular field and You can click on invite people to this notebook and you can and uh, choose people from the options here. You can enter the name first here and so I am choosing three people to share this document with and you can decide their permission here you can either choose can view or edit so i want these people to edit this document so i'm choosing can edit you can also keep a uh, description or message here to for them to understand um, the reason behind you are sharing this document with them so i'm just keeping it as this and click on share.
So once the email is on the notification is sent, it will be confirmed here, shared with. So hopefully those people might have received the notification now. If you have already chosen to share the file, once the file is completed with other updates, you can go to the share option or oh, let me go to the documents. Yeah. So uh, once you have completed updating all the content or notes here, you can share it with others anytime by going to files and then click on share and choosing the share with people as in the first stage click out click the name of the user here and click on share so that they will get notified you can also get a shared sharing link from here by clicking on get a sharing link option and choose create a link option you can paste this link to any chat or email for ease of use so uh, once you have shared or saved this OneNote notebook to your uh, document library, you can go to the particular uh, SharePoint site document library and see whether it's there or not. So I'm just going to uh, the document library to which I have saved the file. So in Marketing to 21. One not notebook. Here it is. This is the file we just saved from OneNote to SharePoint. You can also access this uh, document from the Microsoft Teams. For that, you just have to uh, go to the team any of your team's channel and you must have accessed or connected any of your document library to any of your channel as a tab so click on that file so particular tab to which you have connected the document library so this is the document library and folder which we saved so i'm just accessing it through microsoft teams so as you can see in the one note notebook that file is visible and accessible from my Microsoft Teams platform too. So this brings a lot of convenience and a lot of collaboration possibilities open to your team members. So that's the brilliance. So that's the smart options you get from a Microsoft 365 suite. So here it is, I'm able to open it in my Microsoft Teams platform too, so I can obviously edit and update the file from this platform. Once you have shared the file with your colleagues, they can also make changes as required to the file. So don't forget to like the video if you found this content informative. Check out our other SharePoint tutorials too. Have a good day.